So, Donald Trump has taken the executive action of ending the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals Act with a six month delay, which gives enough time for someone to figure out what they're going to do from here on out, and to decide on moving, or maybe if it's possible getting some permanent residency status. And to me, I think this is a pretty surprising turn of events as someone who has renounced Trump for a couple of months now. I still don't like the guy because of his foreign policy flip-flops and his decision to be a Zionist shill. However, I really am surprised to figure out how many people I've known from elementary school and middle school were minors who were also illegal immigrants. And they were upset about this pass. This has affected their lives overnight. But it's also a surprising testament to how many people I know naturally from an uptown Manhattan childhood were gaining rights and even privileges or well, privileges really if you want to be technical because of acts like this and there are multiple like this even I myself as a second and a half generation American whose father married into permanent residence status I'm affected by similar laws, acts, policies, and executive actions and precedents. And I can see why a minor it would kind of be seen as morally gray to give them the typical illegal immigration treatment of even referring to them as that title. So they're being referred to as dreamers. Because they didn't really choose this lifestyle. They didn't really choose to be in this situation. So for them to have to go through radical and even unfair life changes because of it, I can see that moral gray area. But it's also very interesting that they're called dreamers. The American dream is a very weird synthesis of sort of a working class ideal with high merits but also a inevitable push to making people more bourgeois sort of requiring people to go to four-year universities to live the bug man lifestyle the consumerism that we constantly deal with and it's called a dream and these people are called dreamers I've seen many of the people many of the women who were signed up to this and they're bug women well not signed up but affected by and a part of this pattern of executive actions and behaviors They are Americanized. It makes sense that we would want to extend their visits or to look the other way regarding them. They're low priority because they're essentially what the modern American society expects of all of us and it's not a very good fit we are all expected to be these consumeristic cheap labor constantly seeking high education cockroaches and technology is going to constantly be developed along with 
the social changes and government policies to keep us living this lifestyle. And what I find funny about all of this is that two years ago when I made that thoughts on Donald Trump video, I was fully expecting Donald Trump to do something as extreme as ending birthright citizenship. And I was fully prepared and fully acceptant of that possibility because I feel like it would be a sacrifice that may be needed. But here, something that's comparatively more minor is seen as the most evil thing that Donald Trump has done. And I can't really jive with that notion. He's going to have to do a lot more to earn a title that impressive. But for now, even with the six month delay, I think this is a potential step in the right direction. Not a full step. You can have policies that will slow down demographic displacement and things of that nature. But I see now as someone who seeks full emancipation that we need to deal with the bug man lifestyle. And the institutions that we have to go through to complete that lifestyle, we have to deal with that completely. This has been your boy Mr. Wonka 7. Suck my dick.